Cause then I was like, eh, you know. Um, you know what? Woo! Hello, and welcome back to Citizen Pew. Today I'm at the range and I'm gonna talk about something other than firearms. I know, right? Uh, I'm gonna talk about knives. I used to do some knife videos and I don't know, I kinda got. I don't know, bored with it, I guess I should say, but um, man, my collection is there, and people ask me about knives every now and then, because I do have a lot of knives, so I said, you know what, I'm going to do some more videos on it, I don't know, um, I'll do probably three or four going through my knife collection, and uh, we'll call it, you know, knife uh, season or something like that, knife NATO, I don't know, whatever the term is nowadays. Anyhow, as you saw in the thumbnail, I want to talk about out the front knives and I carry an out the front knife pretty regularly. Um, they're not allowed in some states. Some states are not free states, so, um, and countries for that matter. But I have a number of out the front knives and uh, I said, you know what, let's do a video talking about them. So we're going to go through my favorite three brands of, uh, how should I say it, budget friendly out the front knives. So, all right. Whew, I got a scale. Yep, here we go. We're gonna get started. All right, so the first brand I'm gonna talk about is Cobra Tech, and they have a couple different models, like the one here that I'm carrying today, and uh, it's really nice. It's an aluminum uh, framed knife. They also have, let's see, this is a steel framed, if I believe correctly, right there. So they are pretty nice knives. You can pick these up for uh, depending on the model, they make a bigger and a smaller version of this one. This is the only size they make of this style. Um, these styles do have the glass breakers on them. This one does not. But you're looking at anywhere between $75 and $125, depending on which model you pick. Now, um, these are a little harder to open and close for some people. So, uh, that, that deters a few people, I know, uh, to have them. Now, this model here is a little bit easier to open than say this model. So, but I got my scale here. Let's do a comparison on the weight. So these are the same size. Like I said, this one does come in a, in a larger model and a smaller model, which I do have the smaller model. I use that for a work knife, um, but it is, it is wore out. I need to pick up another one. So I didn't even bring it for this video. So, but here we go. We're gonna weigh these real quick on the scale and see what they come in at. All right, here we go. This is the lighter model right here. Put that on the scale. It comes in at 119.2 grams. So there you go. Now, let's put the heavier model on there. And that one comes in at 191.0 grams. So there you go. It, the, the green model here is a little heavier. All right, there you go. You can see... Uh, the Cobra Tech right there. Now, I really like the Cobra Techs. They were the first kind of budget-friendly out-the-front knives I started looking into. And I've got a number of them, uh, three or four of them, actually. So, I really like them. All right, moving on to the next brand here. This is a brand, oh, before I do that, Cobra Tech, this is the case you're gonna get them in like that. It's a hard case. It's pretty nice, so. And all of these come with little, you know, uh, knife holders, knife sheaths, whatever you want to talk about them that you put on your belt and stuff like that. So, but I just pocket carry. So, all right. The next one I want to talk about is, uh, Templar, uh, Templar knives, right? Right here. Boom. Templar knives. They come in a box like this. They come in various sizes too. I got a thinner one here and a wider one. Bam. And I'll tell you what, I'll put these model numbers in the description of the video. Uh, when if you want to look at any of them, but this is the thinner one right here, and it is a double-sided blade. Check that out. Yeah uh, Man, I tell you what and then this is the larger model here, and it is just a regular uh, Style blade there and they are blackened on the blades, which is kind of a nice feature that this uh, brand does so it makes it look nice anyhow these also have more of a rubberized coating on them, whereas the um, Cobra Tech is more of like a Cerakote uh, coating. So there you go. Uh, these are, they, they feel good. They're kind of rubberized. Uh, these are a little bit easier to open than the Cobra Tech. This one especially, but this one here 
it's a little bit easier but i like them they're neat both models have glass breakers on them they got a number of different products um different colors and stuff like that i bought black for both of these so all right let's check out the weights on these on the scale all right here we go we're going to do the lighter model first so let's get our tear on there there we go it comes in at 185.5 <clears throat> and then our heavier model here all right there we go it's sensing my presence that one comes in at 228.5 there you go all right so the templar knife the bigger one here definitely is one of the heavier ones uh that we've talked about but i tell you what these things they i think they have they feel like they have a little bit smoother action than the cobra tech um and they're around the, right, the same price point depending on the model you pick you're going to be looking at 75 to 125 dollars so there you go all righty now on to the brand that i've most recently discovered and i really like these knives they are by crate tactical boom right there crate tactical and they come of course with the sheath and everything but these are carbon fiber uh housings or at least part of it is right this top part here i've got two of them right here these are both ones you know two different styles of blades but both basically the same model of knife and this is really about the only uh as far as the frame goes the only model they have they both have glass breakers on them there is slight differences uh between the coloring and stuff like that you can see this one has the red bolts or the red screws this one has the black but it's got the flat dark earth uh top on it so yep i like these a lot they are super light super light knives and these are my latest favorites yep i actually bought two of this model because i bought one and i knew my wife was going to want one so i had to buy two so yeah i ended up i gave it to her for was it her birthday no maybe it was our anniversary i don't know i'm always buying her gifts so but yeah she got i i knew, I knew as soon as she saw it she was gonna be like i want that so i had to buy two i had to you know <laughs> anyhow all right uh but these are super easy super easy to open and close a lot easier than both the other brands the cobra tech and the templar but um they're also super light like you really don't even know they're in your pocket so let's go ahead and put them on the scale and see what they weigh all right here we go we're going to go ahead and weigh the red model first or the yeah more tactical one i think tactical here we go look at that 87.8 grams bam all right here we go this uh this is the uh the tan model uh probably gonna be way right around the same so uh 91.1 so pretty close that's probably a difference in the blade style so there you go all right so yeah crate tactical is definitely the lighter of the knives and like i said i think the the weight difference is in the blade style so you can see there there's probably a little bit more weight with the tan blade like that so anyhow they come in various models with very different uh, various knife edges too uh but their frame uh, i should say various uh colors and stuff their frames i have only seen one design so far from them but i'm really looking forward to more products from crate tactical i think these knives are i mean for the price you just can't beat them i had a guy uh, a one of the vendors that comes into work regularly and he asked me he had a uh, a colleague i can't remember i think they were retiring or maybe it was a promotion i don't remember but he came in to uh to the plant and he was asking me hey man i need to get this guy a gift uh he's a knife guy and i don't want to get him something cheap but i don't want to get him something that's you know out of my price range and i asked him i was like well what are you looking to spend he said i you know about 100 bucks i said all right go to my local gun store and i thought you know he knows where it is and uh I said they carry crate tactical knives get one of those he's gonna love it and he said all right all right i'll try i'll try so he did that and then like a week or two later he came back into the plant you know try to sell us some stuff but anyhow that's what vendors do came back in he was like dude that knife was a huge success he said he has 
he was telling me he has a number of higher priced high-end knives and he said this was right up there with quality and he was just really impressed with it so that's a testimony from somebody that i know through another person <laughs> but either way um i tell you what i think overall crate tactical is probably my favorite so far but i do have a number of uh cobra tech and a number of the uh templar knives so anyhow if you want to see these again templar knives that's what it looks like that's the templar knife all right and then cobra tech it's going to come in a box like this cobra tech and crate knives box like that so yep um and like you know i'm not affiliated with any of these knife companies i just my my local gun store has a knife section and um they really they, they they've, they've been doing a good job of trying to bring in some new stuff and uh other than just some standard knives and stuff like that but also maintaining the quality i've been to some gun stores uh and sporting goods stores that carry some knockoff brands uh and you literally cannot find the brand name on the knives at all especially the out the front versions of them uh and i've picked a couple up just for like you know uh little handouts to to people uh of those generic ones and they just don't last as long they they don't feel as qual you know the quality just doesn't feel right um but they work and you know they're kind of like a novelty thing that you can pick up for 20 bucks but if you want something nice and that's budget friendly in my opinion i've had a lot of experience with the, the with the uh cobra techs here and they hold up they hold up the templar knives really like them they've been doing really good and my latest like i said the crate knives these things are going to be probably my go-to here in the future because uh i've got uh two models myself so far uh, my wife has a model she really likes it and so yeah i'm going to be picking up some more of these uh as i find more designs i like so all right that's all i have for you i'd be interested to know what knives you like that are on a budget out the front knives right i'll do some videos on other style of knives but as far as out the front knives that are budget friendly what do you like Tell me if you know something that's out there that I haven't displayed here. These are the three brands I know so far um, that are budget friendly, right? Of course, we all know the high-end ones. And, uh, you know, if you want to spend five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars up to a thousand dollars, by all means, do so. But if you're looking for something that's an everyday carry that, you know, you're not so worried if you tear it up. This thing here, this one I carry all the time when I come to the range. It's kind of my range knife. And you can see there, I need to clean it up and stuff like that. It's getting a little dull. I need to sharpen it. But, I mean, for, uh, I think this one was, you know, 80, 90 bucks out the door. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. So, and it's, and it's held up. Yeah. So, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. I'd be interested to know other brands that I can try out, too, that are budget-friendly. Anyhow, there you go. That's my first knife video I've done in forever. So, let me know your thoughts on how I did it, if you like the scale, if you don't care how much they weigh. Uh, I didn't really go over the blade styles because I was more wanting to talk about the actual knives or the actual brands themselves and their uh, kind of general features. If you want to see a video down the line on blade types, let me know. Uh, I've got a lot of resources on my website that people can link to. Uh, blade HQ and a couple other where you can go and just find all the information you want on blades. And, um, but you know, I don't, I'm, I'm pretty simple when it comes to a knife. I want one that works. I want one that I can sharpen and that's about it. So anyhow, let me know your thoughts, put a comment down in the comment section, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget you can subscribe to the channel. If you're not, check out other videos. I also have another channel, so this is garage where, uh, now I have a shop. I have a project truck. I'm doing home improvements. I mean, tools, everything. I just, you know, I already have all the camera gear and I'm doing all these, uh, you know, do it yourself jobs. I said, let's just create another channel. So I did. Uh, so you can check that out too. It says a few garage. Anyhow, that's all I have for you. Uh, I tell you what, I'm getting ready to get in the AC for a minute before I start doing some shooting because it is humid out here, but I appreciate you watching the video. You all have a good day.